We had four tornadoes this week, one on the ground for 19 miles. And while we did not have any fatalities, the damage was significant. Good Thursday evening. I'm Tyra Lopez. And I'm Amber Kriska. Thank you for joining us. Several groups are teaming up to help the people of Bryant today, where some of the worst damage was centered. Sam Matheny has what they are doing in tonight's top story. Cleanup continues here in Bryant as several organizations are helping victims affected by the tornado figure out how to move forward. The town of 163 people was severely damaged by Tuesday's EF3 tornado. The National Weather Service says there's been nearly 50 tornadoes in Fulton County since 1950. But on Thursday, the American Red Cross says it was another opportunity to lend a helping hand. Just to meet those immediate needs and to provide some comfort. A lot of times people just want to talk and just want to be able to share their story of what happened. But the Red Cross wasn't the only agency to assist. The Salvation Army and Midwest Food Bank brought food and supplies to those who needed. Sarah Nottle lives in Bryant and works for the Salvation Army, but says there's a lot more work to be done. When you walk around and see, it's hard for people and it's, you know, they've been through a lot and you just, I've given hugs, but I would love to be able to give a lot more hugs and just take away the, the things that have happened the last few days. And for those literally picking up the pieces, it's a time of grief with hope. Uh, it's been very heartwarming, uh, very humbling that this many people could show up and uh, to support the small cure of people. Village clerk Melissa Denham says the village will offer breakfast, lunch and dinner for residents on Friday. Both the Salvation Army and the American Red Cross say they're going to give 100% of donations right back to those affected by the severe weather here in Fulton County. We'll have more information on where to donate and how to donate on our website, 25newsnow.com. For now, in Bryant, Sam Matheny, 25 News.